I have gestational diabetes again, which is just so much fun. I could not convince Nathaniel that $600 was okay to spend on dressers. Uh-uh. <laughs> I found all of these little wood figurines in the Target dollar section the other day. Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am starting this vlog off with some not so happy news but I wanted to give you guys an update on my 28 week ultrasound appointment as well as my glucose test. So as you can see from the title, you guys know that I have gestational diabetes again, which is just so much fun. But I wanted to kind of explain like what happened because honestly I left my appointment just like feeling very upset. Not because I had gestational diabetes again, like I kind of knew it already, I could feel it, I could tell, but just the way that I felt like the news was delivered to me and I just felt like it wasn't really good and I wanna share to like help you guys like advocate for yourself because I wish I would have a little bit better. So just like a little recap, we got to the appointment and I drank the drink and then we did our ultrasound. And of course, like after the ultrasound, the doctor goes over all of the information. And I was actually seeing a PA and she, I've seen many times in the past and I actually really liked her. And so I was excited to see her again because sometimes you just like float through different providers. So the ultrasound anyways went, okay. Um, I'm trying to show you guys a few of the pictures, but I was a little upset because the ultrasound tech couldn't really get like a good photo of her face so this is like the best that we got when we did the gender ultrasound one she spent like 10 to 15 minutes also trying to get the baby's legs to open so i just feel like she kind of like struggles with our ultrasounds i don't know so that part was kind of like sad because i really was looking forward to seeing her um at my last doctor's office i got such good photos of rocky at 28 weeks so i was just like excited to see what she looked like so that kind of like put me on a bummer but then we go back to the appointment with the PA and she walks in and she's like hey how are you doing and I was like oh I'm okay like I just have a few concerns because I was having a ton of like really painful Braxton hit contractions and I have had them a lot but they're not supposed to be painful and I know that so I wanted to like talk to her about a few things and she just was like yeah I don't really have good news for you either and just like went off and basically just like told me, she made me feel like I was so overweight, which Nathaniel was with me at this appointment and he was like, yeah, that was really bad. And he's not one to like read into that kind of stuff really. A lot of times like I can be projecting, but he was like, no, that was really bad. So basically, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put this down because my hand's freaking hurting. So basically um, she was like, based on just your ultrasound, there is extra fluid around the baby um, in your uterus. I believe the scale is like five to 25 or something. And I don't know if it's like milliliters, whatever it is, but I had like 25.5. So I was like at the high end clearly, but like barely above. So that was like a first sign for her that I had gestational diabetes. And then the other was the baby girl's measuring like really big. The last time I had an ultrasound was at 20 weeks. She was in like the 76th percentile. And I remember asking the doctor then, I'm like, is that of concern? Like that is on the higher end. And they're like, no, it's not concern at all. Just like keep doing what you're doing. We'll see you in eight weeks. <laughs> so I did and I came back and she was in the 95th percentile. Um, at 28 weeks, she's weighing three pounds, five ounces, which honestly, I didn't know if I was gonna share that with you guys because I feel like very self-conscious about that and especially after the way that my PA made me feel, like it made me feel like that was like my fault. But if you guys don't know, gestational diabetes is completely controlled by your placenta. It has nothing to do with you. Any person can get it. It's just the way that your placenta affects your insulin levels and your glucose levels in your body. So anyways, I know it's not my fault, but then she went to go on and say that like the baby was measuring at 30 weeks instead of 28 weeks. And she was like saying that my weight gain was excessive, which I've gained. So now I've, I've lost a couple pounds in the past few days because I'm tracking my food. But at that point I had gained 28 pounds at 25 weeks, which yes, is on like a higher end. But with Rocky at 28 weeks, I had gained 25 pounds and then I only gained five pounds in the last 12 weeks. But I feel like people, like it's typical for people to gain like 40 pounds. So like if I gained a pound more per week, that would put me at exactly 40 pounds. I don't know, I just feel like that was like kind of harsh. <laughs> and so she was just like, yeah, your weight gain's excessive. Like your baby's big. She measured my stomach. And the other concern is she is not head down. She's like across my body. I'll show you if I can. 
So her head is right here and her feet are right here. And I don't know if that's like a huge concern because with Rocky, they never told me he was anything but head down. But because of the way she's laying, she measured my stomach and she said I was measuring at 32 weeks, 28 weeks, which is four weeks ahead. And she said that a big reason is because like her head isn't engaged. So the way that they measure it is different. I don't know. That didn't make any sense to me, but yeah, she was just like, yeah, your stomach is really big, you're overweight, and you need to start tracking your food, like, now. And even though I didn't have my glucose test or anything, like, back, she was like, you just need to start tracking your food, do you want a glucometer? And I was like, no, I have one from before, but that was basically, like, all she told me. Luckily, I have a nutrition background, I went to college for nutrition, so I have been tracking my food the past five days now, and I have not had a reading higher than 103, I think, and you want it below 140, so I'm like way below, which this is what happened with Rocky too. My readings were always like super good. My fasted numbers are always in the 70s or 80s when you want it below 95, but I still have gestational diabetes and my baby is still big, so. I am doing this tracking and all of this kind of thing because it's very extensive, but I'm doing it just to make sure my baby's healthy. So I have to go back in two weeks at the 30 week mark to check the fluid and then to check her size again. And if I see that she's going down, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. I'm definitely still gonna like track and monitor my food because clearly it has affected her. But I don't really feel like the provider helped me a ton and I don't really feel like I can lean on her. Like I feel like it's kind of in my own hands. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm just sharing because I feel like we go through a lot as pregnant women. But then like when your provider isn't really like as helpful as you'd hope them to be, it just like really kind of sucks and you feel like a lot of extra stress. So that has been my um, stress level the past couple days. But I feel like I'm getting a good hang of it and everything is going well. So the good thing is, is baby was healthy, her heart rate was good, like nothing's abnormal besides just the fact that I have a little extra fluid and she's a little bit bigger. So yeah, that's the update for my third baby, if and when I have one. I will not be going to this provider, even though they're like super close. I wanna find a midwife or someone who I feel like will advocate for me a little bit better and be more helpful. So that is the update. I am thinking I'm going to film a what I eat in a day uh, pregnant with gestational diabetes video in the next like week or so because when I found out I had gestational diabetes, one, I couldn't find like any information on it, but two, I feel like no one talks about it and I feel like it's because everyone thinks that like it's your fault you have diabetes. Diabetes is just like such a like harsh word, but I ended up finding out that a lot of people actually had it and so I want to kind of just like be that person that doesn't not talk about it because it helped me a ton when I heard that I wasn't the only one. And I ended up watching my own videos this time around to see what I was eating then and that's what I've been kind of following. So I feel like I'm gonna film something like that, but that is all I'm gonna talk about it today. I don't want this vlog to be like super negative. Um, we have a lot of fun things just like around the house I've changed and I just wanna vlog a day in the life. Nathaniel actually has today off, it's Monday, it's a holiday um, MLK day and so he is actually at the store with Rocky right now and I don't know what we're gonna do this afternoon, but I just want to kind of have a fun, cozy day with you guys and share the things that have been going on lately, so. On a happier note, I rearranged this playroom for like the thousandth time, finally hung this back up, and I added a bunch of stuff to the walls, and I feel like this just looks so much more put together, and I'm very happy with it. There's a lot of changes I still want to do or things I want to add, but for now, this is what it looks like, and I feel like Rocky has been playing a lot better. Um, I got this little pillow from Target, so that's kind of cleared up there and then he can have like his little stuffed animals to play, books to read. Um, we've got the kitchen all set up here and I added this on the wall. I will show you guys here in a second, but I got one of those uh, Melissa and Doug like cleaning sets and I actually changed like all of the little strings because one, there was like no room in between this and the hook. So it was really hard for Rocky to get it off. But two, it was a bunch of obnoxious colors and I don't really know how to like change out the color of this, so there is going to be some crazy colors left of that. But yeah, and then I got this hung. I need to take this off, but this is the company it's from. It's called Amani Collective. I was originally gonna put this in Rocky's room, but I just thought it was super cute with like the sun next to it. And then we got his nugget couch back out here because honestly, Rocky has been wanting us to read to him in his crib. And so this, I just feel like makes more sense out here. And we've been using the Pickler slide because He's been obsessed with like throwing his trains down it. I know it's been setting up where like this will open at the end and they'll like try and make it in. I don't know, they've been doing some fun stuff with that. 
and then I moved these two posters over here at eye level so he can see the emotions and our universe. This is all kind of the same, just a rotation of toys. And then this is the map. Um, this was in Rocky's room too, but of the constellations the night he was born. I don't know, everything is just like eye level for him. And I feel like this space is like just more designed for him. And then also if anyone's concerned, I got a few messages about this, but Rocky one is never left unattended. We don't even have a gate because like we're literally always with him, but he doesn't get all crazy and he doesn't try and climb on here. But if eventually he starts to, we will rearrange this area. I also wanted to share that I found all of these little wood figurines in the Target dollar section the other day. Um, it came in like three packs. So this is three packs of things. It was $3 each. And one of them had these like little houses, which I thought would be so cute to like set up around his train station and make it kind of like a city. There's like stoplights and like speed limit signs and other shops too. And then there's a bunch of like little animals. I don't know. I just thought that was super cute and fun to like help him create a more creative <laughs> situation going on here but i for now have them in this like little ikea basket that i am keeping out of rotation until next week he's just getting into the train set that i don't want to like completely overwhelm him but next week i'm gonna add those and see if he will like make a little city or something like that i thought that would be super fun i also wanted to share with you guys my little like spray painting situation so these were red and a bright blue so i just like taped off the like mop section and the broomstick and spray painted it i don't use anything crazy this is just the spray paint i used for the tan and then this is the one i used for the white this was originally red and as you can see it still kind of looks pink so we're having to do many coats and <laughs> this is so annoying but a bug flew and like skidded into here so then i wiped it with a paper towel and now it's all chunky but i figured it's better than just <laughs> the bright red this is the stand for all the cleaning stuff and then like i said the mop and the broom um and i've also done that with this i just need to finish spray painting this this i'm going to do that tan color as well um, but i think today nathaniel's dad actually is supposed to come and help him hang this probably right here so that way Rocky can have a swing outside. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I love my neutrals. I hate the obnoxious colors that basically every single kid item comes with. That's why I spray paint everything. I haven't found like the perfect solution yet to make them completely chip free. I do think if I were to sand everything down and like be really patient with my coats and like wait the proper time in between them, they'd become like less tacky, but I'm not that patient. So yeah, if you guys have any tips, let me know because I would love to figure that out. I'm looking at his cozy coop right now outside and there's so many spots where it chipped. So I need to finish or retouch that up as well. But I think everything just like looks so much more cohesive when it's a centered color and then he has pops of color all throughout his playroom with like his toys and stuff. But I don't want like the main items to be a pop of color. I get so much hate for that. I honestly don't care. I know I am not depriving my child by doing that. But yeah, that's kind of just what I do to make things a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and just like easier on the eye, cuter in the space. And so it doesn't look like a kid threw up in my house. I also wanted to share Rocky's little Valentine's Day basket that I've been putting together over the past few days. This is something that I have wanted to be better about in the past. And so I'm making a goal to be better about it this year. And so I want to do like a Valentine's Day basket and Easter basket like you know what I mean just like make the holidays a little bit more fun my mom was always super good about Valentine's Day Valentine's Day is actually my birthday if you guys didn't know and so it's like an extra special holiday for me and because it's a day that like typically is focused about me I don't want my kids to be forgotten and Nathaniel had the cutest idea that in the future I'll do a basket for Rocky and he'll do a basket for baby girl and that like broke my heart. Although I like want to do them for both. I'm like so excited to make one for a girl too. He was so cute and he was like, let's just like do that. And then of course we'll like do something for each other too. But yeah, anyways. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys were these little felt hearts that I made. I saw a TikTok about this and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute and simple. And I think I can make that. So they're literally just like a felt sheet I cut out into a heart. Um, cut two of them, hot glued it together, stuffed it with a cotton ball, put a stick on it and put some ribbon on it. <laughs> so it just like kind of makes the basket look a little bit more festive. I will leave the little Pinterest link that I followed down below. So that way you guys can see exactly like what I did, but I got that. And then I just got like a little balloon for him too. Um, I thought that would be cute. He actually saw this already and he just like loves hitting us with it, which is 
great. <laughs> and then um, I'm actually just gonna flip you guys around and show you what's in here. Okay, I'm not fully done yet, but this is kind of what's going on so far. So I got him two little books. Um, this one I thought was so cute. And then the Llama Llama I Love You. He actually doesn't have any of the Llama Llama books, so I thought that would be a fun one to introduce. And I just wanted to show this one because I just felt like the illustrations were super cute and like, I don't know. I just really liked that one. So I thought that was adorable. I also saw this and I tried to open it and put it in a cuter bag, but it didn't fit. So it's just a little chocolate candy that says you're magical. I thought that was super fun. And you always have to have like a little piece of chocolate on Valentine's Day. And then Rocky's been getting into snacks a whole lot more. So I got him just like another snack cup to make our lives easier. And then I got him a little play toaster for his play kitchen. This is like his like main gift. But this like actually works and pops up. And then there's like some jam and cheese and a knife and strawberry jam in a jar too. Sorry, I'm sitting so awkwardly, but it's really uncomfortable to sit right here. So um, I just wanted to share that I have one more thing coming in for him. I got him a little t-shirt that says lover boy. Last Valentine's Day, I got him a shirt that said mama's my girl. So that's kind of like my tradition. And I just want to take a cute picture with him on Valentine's Day. And then I'm going to put a bunch of that like crinkle cut paper underneath this to like kind of lift it up and make it so that you can see everything a little bit better. The last thing that I would love to add in is like a little stuffed animal or something. I don't know, I don't have a ton of stuffed animals for him. We have four exactly. And I thought it would be cute to get another one, but the one that I want is Cuddle and Kind and it is a little bit pricier, which I don't know how much I should be like spending on a Valentine's Day basket. But I also just like love putting together little baskets. So we might splurge on that, we'll see. But yeah, that's my little Valentine's Day basket. I hope I like encouraged you guys and gave you enough time to make one yourself because it's only January 17th. You still have tons of time if you want to do something like this for your little one too. <laughs> no, 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 go sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -uh. <laughs> Go sit down. Up. Oh. Is it cool? Is it cool? <laughs> Go sit on your tissue butt while you eat your snack. Hey boy, hey, please go sit down, buddy. Bobby! What you eating, babe? Rocky was sitting so good on the stairs while we were putting groceries away and of course when I start to film he goes after the camera But I wanted to show really quick this little snack. We've been feeding him My friend had these at her house last week and Rocky is obsessed with them. They're from Target They come in a big bag, but they didn't have any when I was there so we just got like the bag of a bunch of little ones and He thrashes these like he already ate a full bag and I'm sure he's gonna ask for more What's wrong? Are they all gone? Okay, so the next like little fun update we have is we got a dresser over the weekend and unfortunately it's the exact same one that's in Rocky's room. So a lot of the furniture is the same in here and I'm like kind of dying inside about that, but I could not convince Nathaniel that $600 was okay to spend on a dresser, so we got the Tarvo one from Ikea and it was $200. And I'm gonna make it over, which I will share my plans with that with you guys once Rocky goes down for a nap and Nathaniel starts building it. But I want to start getting like this organized in the closet because it is currently just kind of chaos. And now that I will have a dresser to put clothes in, I can get things out of the closet and a little bit more organized. So I need to wash a few things. My sister is so cute and she loves thrifting. She has a little thrifting account. So if you guys want her to thrift for you, I will leave it linked down below, but she has thrifted quite a few cutie girly pink things for baby girl. This is one of my favorite onesies. I think it is so darling. It's just like a little flower print, but yeah, so I want to get all of that washed. So that way we can put things away. Like how sweet is this? I think that's so sweet. 
I feel like it's like extra special too because my little sister found it. But yeah, there's a bunch of little stuff. Like look at this little dress. I can't, I cannot believe we're gonna have a baby to put in dresses. Anyways, all the stuff that's like hung up is already washed because it was Rocky's clothes and um, when I put his clothes in storage, I washed them before I put them away. So that makes that super simple. But yeah, I'm definitely starting to feel like that nesting phase that I just like want to get things done. I want things to be complete and just ready for her. Even though we still have like 11 weeks, we still have quite some time. I just, I wanna, I wanna get ready. It's fun for me. For now, I am going to wash all of this. I feel like my last video was a cleaning video and I showed you washing, so I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to get this going so that way when the dresser is ready, we can put them in the drawer. Quite more dressed up than I was in the last clip, but Rocky has been down for like an hour almost or so. And I just filmed a video for Friday talking about um, the fact that I don't love all parts of motherhood. So I'm excited for you guys to listen to it. I hope it's perceived well. It's kind of been stressing me out that it's not going to be. So I hope you guys can see my intentions with it. But Nathaniel is building the dresser right now, so I am going to quickly change out of this dress, although it is very cute. I do not like to stay uncomfortable in my house. And I'm gonna share with you guys my plans for the dresser for baby girl's room. Hi, baby. I know. <laughs> There's no binkies over there, babe. Hi, babe. Oh, Dada will be right back. Hey, Dada will be right back, okay? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, babe. <gasps> Knock on the wall. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> yeah, you don't touch. You want to tell them how when you hear birds, you stop crying? You like your birds, huh? Yeah, birds come out of your sap machine. Huh? Can you That's put your binky in the crib? Yeah. <laughs> so Rocky has been sleeping better, but that was only an hour and a half nap. And it's probably because then I was building the dresser in the room next Blame to him. Me. Probably, but I wanted you to build it. So that's all good. We're both off, so yeah, we can all hang out. But yeah, we started turning on the birds on his hatch machine when he wakes up and he instantly stops crying. And he waits until we come and get him. And it's been super nice because sometimes he wakes up really sad. But uh. yeah, we don't touch all of this. That's the noise he makes when he knows he's not supposed to touch something. He goes, huh. But we're gonna eat some lunch. I know I said I was going to show you guys the dresser, but he woke up. So, mm, thank you. You just randomly gave me a kiss, you sweet boy. Uh. Okay, let's get you fed, okay? This is the progress Nathaniel got on the dresser. I believe it's upside down and this is where the legs are. I'm gonna have him build it so that all the drawers are not in because the drawers are what I'm doing like a makeover to. So as I feel like I've made it very clear, I do not want this room to look like Rocky's room. And I don't think it will. We're getting wallpaper on this wall. Um, the rug will be different. The layout is different. All of that kind of thing, but I want to make over this dresser because I really wanted it to be like a wood cane kind of thing. But like I said, the dresser was just too much. So we're going to try and DIY it. What I originally wanted to do is also a bit expensive because cane webbing is like so expensive right now. So we're going to modify it a bit. This is the like hack I saw on Pinterest which I think is so beautiful. But I didn't want to like cut out pieces of the wood because we don't have a tool for that and I wanted to make my life easier. And so I found this, which is very similar, but instead of cutting it out, they just put pieces of cane over the wood. 
And I also like that you won't be able to see into the drawers this way because if they're messy, I don't want to be able to see that. But I wanted to do all six drawers, but the cane for two drawers is gonna be $70. So that would be an additional $210 to add cane, not including like the other stuff we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with two because I really like this look of this like Target dresser. So I figured one would be super cute too. So basically what I plan to do is cover the top two drawers with cane and then outline the edges with like a thin piece of wood and then outline the edges of each drawer with a thin piece of wood. And then I'm gonna stain it too. I'm not gonna leave it the raw wood like I did for Rocky. So that way it's like a little bit different. And then eventually if I want to keep adding cane, I can in the future. Um, but for now that's like my budget friendly way of transforming this dresser. So I'm really hoping that we'll be able to do that this weekend. Like I said, Nathaniel's gonna get the majority of it built so that way it's prepped and ready to go for the little DIY makeover. Yeah, that's good. If you guys haven't tried Olipop yet, what are you doing? I have loved it for so long. Can only ever find it at like my Sprouts. And I saw a girl I've been watching on YouTube quite a bit. Her name is Brielle. I'll link her channel down below because I really like it. But she ordered a case of them and she had like a discount code. So your girl ordered one and I have 12 cans in that fridge. And life is good. <laughs> um, and it's nice because there's not a lot of sugar in this, and there's prebiotics, which are good for your digestive system, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, as you guys saw, I just did some like random poses. Don't mind how ridiculous I looked doing them, but I've been kind of stressed since baby is not head down, and so I'm trying to do things just early on that um, promote a healthy position for baby. I'm not trying to like induce labor or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to do some movements that will get her to start moving head down because your girl does not want a c-section at all and so the thought of a breech baby <laughs> it terrifies me so i'm working on that but nathaniel's actually gone if you can't tell i've had some time to myself just editing and um doing some random things but he took rocky to his brothers his brother has today off as well and they're gonna come home probably within the next like 30 minutes, probably 20 minutes. And Nathaniel's actually gonna go watch football with his dad tonight. So it's just gonna be me and Rocky tonight. And he's leaving at 5.30 and Rocky goes down at seven. So I just have like an hour and a half with him, but we're gonna make dinner and just hang out, me and Rocky, because today Rocky has had a lot of time with Nathaniel so that I could film two videos and get some things edited and done. So I'm gonna hang out with my little baby boy. But I think that's where I'm going to end today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you wanna see. I have that video coming out Friday that's going to be my thoughts about the parts of motherhood that I don't love. And then like I said, I wanna film a what I eat in a day pregnant with gestational diabetes. But if you guys have other things you're dying to see, let me know. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.